around this board, but we'll work through it. So here we go. We did the growth hormone anterior pituitary to my bones to make me grow. It's a non steroidal peptide or an NSP. Thyroid stimulating hormone. Where'd it come from? Thyroid. Interior. 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 Yeah. Same way. So, gotta be careful. Thyroid stimulating is different than thyroid. They're not the same hormone. So, anterior pituitary. What do you think the target is of thyroid stimulating hormone? Thyroid. Very good. The name usually tells you some clues. For example, it goes to my thyroid. And what do you think the action is of thyroid stimulating hormone? Thyroid. Stimulates, activates. Arrow up, turns on, increases secretion, whatever word you want to associate with stimulating. I don't care what word you pick as long as it means something similar to making it go. Right? What type is it? NSP. It's an NSP, a non steroidal peptide. Here's a hint almost all of them are that same one. So I would learn the exceptions and not the ones that are going to keep repeating NSP all the way down. That's me. Adrenal corticotropic hormone, ACTH. It's made where? And again, wow. <laughs> where do you think adrenal cortico goes? The adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex. You the outside level of the adrenal gland. Can you guess a type just for an SP? That's going to be default in this column. non sertal peptide. What do you think adrenal corticotropic hormone does? Stimulates, turns on, activates. Stimulates the adrenal cortex because in biology, tropic means to turn on or to grow or to increase. So I'm troping it, meaning I'm making it grow. Any sense so far? Prolactin. Ooh, where's that from? Anterior. Wow. On a test, just put anterior pituitary. You'll probably be right. <laughs> Prolactin would go where? Memory glands. Memory glands, boobs, whatever you want to put there. Okay. Type, take a guess. NSP. NSP, again. What do you think prolactin is going to tell your boobs to do? Make milk. Make milk. Stimulate milk. Turn on milk. Be a cow. Whatever word you want to put there. Right. Lacto, in favor of lactation. Prolactin. Right. Okay so far? Mm -hmm. Luteinizing hormone, or LH. Take a guess where it's made. Anterior. Anterior pituitary, again, again, again. Where does it go? Ovaries and testes. Ovaries and testes, you can say gonads. That's a shortcut from biology 112, meaning ovaries and testes. You know, you can say either one, that's fine. What does LH tell your gonads to do? Stimulate. Stimulate, turn on. So for this term, I'm happy just saying stimulates. When you get 233, we'll learn the specifics. So you can say stimulates, turns on, makes you sexy, any word like that that implies you're activating your gonads. What type of hormone is it? NSP. It's an NSP. That's what we're going to keep writing until told otherwise. FSH. Made where? Same place. Where's it go? Same place. Type. Same place. Job. Same place. So those two are going to be the same ones on your chart. In the third term, we'll talk more specifically about the nuances between them. For right now, they're both sex hormones that go to your gonads. You okay with those? Okay, adrenal, sorry, let's try this again. Anti-diuretic hormone. Where's it made? Wrong. No, that's where it's stored. That's where it's made. Hypothalamus. you got to be careful on that one. Let me show you a picture, because I'm not making this up. But there is a distinction between those two. Here, the screen here. All right, so here's why did we make that distinction. This is showing my pituitary, your pituitary, someone's pituitary. And it turns out that you have two pituitaries. That's why there's an anterior lobe, which is this red guy, and a posterior lobe, which is this back one. And if you follow along here, hypothalamic neurosecretory cells, in English, means neurons in my brain. But the neurons have axons that go all the way down into this. So 
my posterior pituitary is just nerves out of my hypothalamus. They're all one piece. They're not separate. So therefore, if something's leaving my posterior lobe, it's actually coming out of the nerve in my brain. So therefore, it's made in the hypothalamus. The posterior is just where it's released. So essentially, the posterior That's right. The posterior, you can think of as just a big wart on your hypothalamus. But the anterior is separate. So to show you that concept, right, right here, this is showing the anterior side. The anterior side, there are actually cells that make hormones. And they're not part of your hypothalamus. The anterior is a separate organ than the posterior is. So the posterior doesn't make anything. The hypothalamus makes the stuff that's released out of the posterior. So on your test, you will never put posterior pituitary as a source for anything. That's where it's stored, or that's where it's released and not made. Where it's made is the hypothalamus. Are you with me on that? Good morning. So you're going to say hypothalamus were the ones that the book hints at as posterior. So antidiuretic is made by hypothalamus. Where do you think it goes? Kidneys. Kidneys is a good answer. Let's go over to, to action real fast. What's the job of an antidiuretic? To reabsorb water. Reabsorb water. Stop peeing, literally. Because diuretics make you pee. If I anti the diuretic, I stop peeing, which means I reabsorb water. Retain water. Whatever word you want to use there. What type is it? NSP. It's an NSP. Even though it's coming from a different gland, it's still the same chemical type. Oxytocin or OST, where's it made? Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus, because it's coming out of the posterior pituitary, but that's not a place it's made. It's made in the hypothalamus. Where does your oxytocin go? Uterus, Uterus is good. Mammary glands again. Prostate. Prostate. What does it do there? Happy, warm, and cozy, and we call it the squirting hormone. Okay, so you'll never forget it. What squirts out of your uterus? A baby, so it causes contraction during labor. What squirts out of your memory gland? Milk. Milk. What squirts out of a prostate? Yeah. That's the goal. And everything that it does is cause contractions to cause things to come out. So it causes contractions of your uterus. When you're having cramps, blame that. This causes contraction of your uterus, contraction of your memory glands, so milk let down, contraction of the prostate during ejaculation. Also makes you fall in love with whoever's doing it. It's called the <laughs> Right? But it's made in my posterior pituitary, goes to your prostate or uterus or memory glands and makes them contract or disperse. <laughs> Make sense? You'll never forget that. Thyroid hormone, T3, T4, thyroxines, they have a bunch of names. This is different than thyroid stimulator. It's different from thyroid stimulating. So, which one? Oh, I forgot that. Oxytocin was? NSP. Good old NSP. Thyroids. Where are they made? Take a guess. The thyroid. The name tells you. I would be careful. Thyroid stimulating is made in my pituitary, but thyroid without the stimulating is my thyroid gland. Where do they go? Body tissues. Body tissues all over is a perfectly good answer. Your doctor would say systemic and bilium. Right? Everywhere, all over, body cells. Because what does it do in all those cells? Metabolism. Creates metabolism, makes energy. Metabolic rate, ATP production, another way you can say it, metabolism, burning calories. Pick a word you sort of like. What type is it? NSA. All right, here's where you get some differences. Some books will say it's a, it's a modified amino acid. So I'm say. Some books will say, no, it, it's not small enough, so therefore it's a modified peptide. It's not a steroid, though. So I'm going to pick my personal favorite, is that's going to be an NSP. So I'm going to lean you that way. Just go with the rest of them. Right. But you'll find that people will debate where it should fall, because it's a modification of... The couple. So it's a really small amino acid. It's a really small protein and a really big amino acid, basically. Uh oh. Yeah. So it's. But for this class, it's going to say MP. Let's do calcitonin. 
Where is that made from 231? Thyroid. 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 It targets your osteo what? Blast. Osteoblasts. You can't put bones for 232, you got an osteoblast. Remember blast build, right? I'm building bone with calcitonin. What does it do? It builds bone. So increase bone mass. I put the calcium in to my bone by removing it from my blood. Does that ring a bell? Yep. Okay. What type is it? Take a guess, three letters. It begins with N. Okay, parathyroid hormone. Where's it made? Parathyroid. The parathyroid. It's in the back of your thyroid. But it's actually called the parathyroid. It targets the osteoclasts primarily. It's going to be an NSP because it is. And what's its job to do? Break down bone, destroy bone, reduce bone mass. Put the calcium back into the blood, raise blood calcium, all those things you learn in 231. So those are opposites of each other. <laughs> Make sense on those? Yep. All right. So I'm going to start sliding up the next one, and then we're going to erase a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's keep going. We left off on PTH, mineral corticoids. Okay. This is a group of stuff, one of which is called aldosterone. So you can say aldosterone, you can say mineral corticoids, they're basically synonyms, but not directly synonyms. Where are your corticoids made? Adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex. So that's from your adrenal cortex. The word cortico implies cortex, in this case it's the adrenal gland, it's cortex. All right, let's figure out what it does, and that'll help us figure out where. Mineral tells you what it's acting on. It's acting on minerals. What mineral are they talking about here? What is it? Sodium. Yes, very good. So sodium increases sodium reabsorption. Or you can say increases salt, retains salt, keeps salt. Pick a word you like. Where would you go in your body to keep sodium in? My kidneys. And when we get to blood pressure regulation in about two weeks, you'll be beaten up with that aldosterone. But its job is to tell your kidneys not to pee salt. All right, so it's a mineral corticoid. What type is it? So I think I put the NA in the type zone here. What type is it? It's a steroid. Let's put that in shocking green here. So it is one of the steroidal types, meaning it's this. It's its own category, you say steroid. So it is a steroid. Glucocorticoids, I wonder where they're made. The adrenal cortex, because it says cortico, and it's gonna act on glucose. Where do I go to have gluco? Liver's one of them. Pancreas, where else do I have gluco? All over the place. So you can say all over, you can say systemic, you can say everywhere, you can list 300 things, fine with me. So go from my cortico, adrenal cortex, to all over to deal with sugar. So it's going to raise sugar in the blood. We're going to add a word here so you know the context. The context is during stress. You're going to circle that. Because there's other hormones that do it during the off day day. This one is during a stress response. Or if you want to be fancy, fight or flight. Right? Or you can say sympathetic. So when you get fight or flighting, you'll start releasing glucocorticoids to raise your... Why would you want high blood sugar in sympathetic mode? Yeah, yeah more energy, I'm going to feed my muscles, right? Fight or run. So I'm going to, in my sympathetic mode is my turn this on. If you look at the name of the synonym, cortisol, cortisone, hydrocortisone, those are steroidal. Is that right there what constant stress in your life causes yep. high Yep. And insulin resistance and all those other things. Yep. It's also a steroid. Cortisone shots are steroids. It's the same group. 
So it's a steroid. Gee, I'm seeing a pattern with these steroids. Where do they all have come from so far? Adrenal. The adrenal cortex. That's your magical thing to study. The adrenal cortex makes steroids. So if you see adrenal cortex as the source, you're going to write steroid as the type. That's a rule that we have. So let's do androgens, which are sex hormones. Where do you make sex hormones? Where? Glands is one. You can also make them somewhere else. Same place here, adrenal cortex. So you can make them in your ovaries and testes, and you can make them in your adrenal gland. That's going to help you remember the type. What chemical type are your sex hormones? Steroid. They're steroid because they come from my adrenal cortex. Also, there's another little trick if you forget the location of how to figure these out. Steroidal hormones almost always end in own. All right, let's see if that's true. Look at the mineral corticoids. The synonym is aldoster what? Oh, no. Aldosterone. Cortisone, testosterone, progesterone, all that wording, estrogen blows the logic. Estrogen known. <laughs> but if you see an own in the word, that's a clue that's a steroidal type. So anything that you could substitute with an own, cortisone, aldosterone, testosterone, that's also a clue in that's a steroidal. So adrenal cortex plus own equals steroid. So another hint for your learning. So where do where do my sex hormones go? All over the place. Thank you, sexy. Perfectly good legal answer. All right. Secondary sex characteristics: get boobs, beards, all that fun stuff. Turn regulate cycles, menstrual cycle. We'll learn more in third term what that means. But for today, you can say sexy stuff. Okay, epinephrine. Where's it made? Adrenal medulla. Adrenal medulla, a very different place. So I'm going to put it in green. This one is adrenal. What does adrenal medulla mean in English? What's medulla? Body. Yeah, the body or the middle. So adrenal cortex or these, adrenal medulla is this. That's not the same place. Where does epinephrine go? All over, All over the place, systemic. Pick a word you like. Body cells. We'll do all over. What type is it? NSA. NSA. It's an amine or amino acid. So we've got NSA. Circle that. That's another one of those exceptions to the NSP. There's a kind of worthless trick. Amine sounds like epinephrine. They got so amine. <laughs> you think I'm making this up? That's true, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's where it comes from. So uh, eph eph epinephrine, amine, they're sort of related. Right? So ohms are steroids, enes are NSAs. All right? And then you get those at the back. But it's an NSA, it's a non steroidal amino acid or amine group. So what's the job of epinephrine? Again, fight or flight, sympathetic response. But this is more this cause it, and the, the cortisol is more what you're going to do once you're in fight or flight. But they're both sympathetic based hormones. Make sense? Okay. Anger, pain, hatred? Fine. Last four, and you're done with the table of doom. Insulin! Yeah. yeah. Where's the main? Pancreas. Pancreas. Unfortunately, PCC says you got to go a little deeper than that. Because everyone in the U.S. is diabetic practically. What cells in the pancreas? The beta. Islets of Langerhans, but it's the beta cells in the islets of Langerhans. So on a test, if you put pancreas, you're wrong. You got to tell me beta cell in the pancreas, or beta cells, or B cells. I'm fine with Bs, or beta. Fine with that. To contrast it, let's go down to glucagon. Where's glucagon made? Yeah. Also in the pancreas. Alpha cells. And they're in the alpha cells. Mm -hmm. You have to specify. So you have to specify. So you have to say beta cell and alpha cell in the pancreas. Little, this seems to help. They're, it's alphabetical. 
A before B, G before I. So if you list them in order alphabetically, the A one goes first. The beta cells and alpha cells, they both go basically to the same places. What are the targets for those? All, all over, right? Especially liver. So they effect, especially affect your liver, but all over, all body cells with a few exceptions. Here, those. What type of hormones are they? NSP. They're NSPs again. For true or exception, for the most part. They're peptidal or proteinaceous. Okay, job of insulin is to do what? Lower blood sugar. Or cause cells to intake more sugar, right? So the cells eat it, and therefore my blood sugar goes down. Glucagon's job is to do what? Increase, Increase blood sugar. Or have my cells release it. When your gluca is gone, use glucagon. Right? <laughs> Insulin puts it into your cells. Right? You laugh, right? That's true. So you can those? So beta cells lower my blood sugar, the alpha cells raise my blood sugar. Press again. Melatonin. Pineal body or pineal gland. Body gland. Okay. Target. Brain. Your sweet. Your brain. Very yeah. good. Because what's its job? What does melatonin do? Sleep wakey. Sleepy wakey stuff. So circadian, they call it. You get tired when the sun goes down, you wake up when the sun comes up, you get screwed up on a plane, that's this. It tells you when to wake up. If you spell it wrong and put an E on the end, say melatonin, that will help you know which one it is. It's an NSA. It's an amino acid based one. So it's just say melatonin and laugh. That's an amino type. Last one we're going to do is the atrial natriuretic peptide. Okay, the word will tell you what. Does anyone know where it's made? Anyone know where your atrial is? In your heart. That's your heart. So your heart is what produces it. Naturetic tells you what it's doing. If you abbreviate naturetic, it's from natrum, which is abbreviated NA. NA stands for? Salt. Sodium or salt. So it's going to have an effect on my sodium. In this case, it's going to lower my sodium, or not reabsorb, or release sodium, or excrete sodium. Pick a word you prefer. Where would I go in my body to deal with sodium? Your kidneys, again. So aldosterone raises my sodium. A and P lowers my sodium. Same places they're affecting it. And if you look at the name one more time, what type is it? Take a guess. NSP. NSP, because it's peptide right there. <clears throat> Doing okay? <clears throat> so that is the chart that thou shalt memorize, thou shalt. You don't have to understand it, just be able to reproduce the words. <laughs> Okay. A couple little hints from my years of doing this. Um, some students do an Excel sheet with it, and then you sort it by different categories. Like, I noticed I did the chart in order of the gland, mm -hmm. but then do it by the order of the type. Do by order of the target. Okay. You can also do flashcard jeopardy. Have all the words written on flashcards and try to match them up as you go down and through all the charts. But thou shalt be able to reproduce that chart at nausea. <laughs> thou shalt. Make sense? So let's talk about your test, since that was the last thing you had to learn. You take your test. Let's go through the questions and see what's on it. Get out a piece of paper while I tell this to page of your exam, which is written similar to your quizzes, that kind of just bigger, is basically brain damage questions. So the one of the questions is I told you where you damaged, you tell me the symptoms. So Jonathan rips off his cerebellum, what would you see? 
There's another question which is the reverse. I told you the symptoms, you have to work backwards and tell me the part. You know, Jonathan can't move his left eye. This is kind of logic. So go from body part to symptom and then go symptom back to body part. If you shoot Jonathan in the frontal lobe, blah, 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 blah. Right? So a whole page of those. There is a question on the language area specifically. What happens in Broca's versus Wernicke's? How would you know the difference if I told you a patient? So know the difference between Broca's and Wernicke's in terms of function. So Jonathan rips out his Broca's area. Okay. All right. There, is, there are two questions on the deep brain integrative area. So that's the reticular one, that's the basal ganglia, and the limbic stuff. So if you ripped out my hippocampus, what would you see? Okay. If I took out my limbic system, what would happen to me? Yeah. I can represent the question. Sure. Um, we'll give you one that's not on here. Okay, so in Parkinson's disease, your, your limbs always shake. What part of your brain is damaged and why? Uh, and how'd you know? Yeah, that's the concept. So you have to figure out that's a basal ganglia because I'm losing my ability to stop and start my muscles properly. That kind of logic. So be thinking that. So if I damage your symptom, can you sort of figure out which of the deep ones it is? It wouldn't be that big of a question. So you got some deep brain stuff. Okay, then we have three questions on the flow of CSF that thou shalt know. All right, to be able to walk me through step by step of where the CF starts, where it goes, and how it gets there. So if I ripped out your fourth ventricle, where is that in the pathway? Would you still have flow? Would you not have flow? That kind of stuff. Okay. Then there are. Three questions on the cranial nerves. Remember, thou shalt know the name, the number, the type, and what it innervates. So guess what I asked you? <laughs> yeah. So on some of them, I just blatantly ask you those things. Just write out that stuff. On some of them, I'm doing, I'm giving you a, a symptom and have you figure out what cranial nerve relates to that. So, number, name. Type and innervation. Can, can we memorize the route? Like, how's it go? I don't care about the framings at all. Okay, sure. That's loud. I just want to know what they do. So, for example, if Jonathan ripped out your olfactory nerve, what would happen to you? Can't smell. Can't smell. Can't smell. Can't right? That's the kind of logic. What number is that? Is it sensory, motor, or mix? That's the kind of logic I want. So, be able to crank out that stuff. All right, then we have one, two, three, four. Five questions on the ANS. So you have to know the, the wiring, where they come out of the spine, the lengths, short and long, the neurotransmitters, where they're located, and the symptoms. So if you turn on sympathetic, what organs do what when you're sympathetic? What organs do what when you're parasympathetic? Yeah, the ANS. Know the ANS chart. And then, of course, you have to know the receptor and what would happen if I blocked it or amplified it. So if I turned on beta receptors, what system would that be and what would happen to me? Each division has two receptors. Yes. Yeah, so we have to keep each one. Yes. Okay, I'm ANS? Okay. Then there are... There's a question on how I can make you blind, I'll be honest. So if you know how eyesight works, what are some ways I can screw that up? There's a question on how I can make you deaf. So if you know how you hear, how can I screw that up? And there's a question on how I can screw up your balance. So when you're learning those special senses, go through and think about what would happen if my lens didn't work? What would happen if my cones weren't working? What would happen if my eardrum was broken? So if you understand the flow of the information, it makes sense what would happen to you clinically if these occurred. So if my lens is broken, can I still see? Yes. Yeah, yeah, would I see well? <laughs> no, right? Because my lens is to focus, not to see. The cones and rods see, right? So 
the concept would be I could see the format and bad focus, but not, not bad vision. My cones are bad, or I couldn't see color at that kind of level. All right. All right, there's a question on the differences between rods and cones. So when do you use a rod, when do you use a cone? Just flat out the differences between rods and cones. Yes. What would happen if your rods didn't work? Would you just not see at night and not see as much right. black you'd and see, white? Or yeah, basically you'd have tunnel vision. You could see off the center of your eye, because that's where the phobia is. You could see under bright light with color, but at nighttime you'd see nothing. Mm. Or really badly. You couldn't see anything peripherally. Mm. Because the rods are what see the peripherally. Yeah, so it would be the reverse. If you had no rods, you'd see the center. If you had no cones, you'd only see a ring. All right. All right. Yep, okay. And then the last page is the chart from hell. So I basically asked you name, source, target, type, and action for a variety of my choosing of the hormones. So you have to be able to reproduce those if I ask, you know, what I'm asking for. Yeah. Would you do it backwards? Like, would you say, like, what the action is and you put the hormone yep. in? Okay. So I have some <laughs> mixture of those categories, and you've got to figure out. Yeah, so if you can just reproduce the table if I gave you the information. So what hormone targets this? Was this a source for this one? What type of this is? Like you don't have to understand it all. Just plug and chug the chart. That's all. Is it all multiple choice? No multiple choice. No, no multiple choice. Exactly like the there's no multiple choice at all. <laughs> one word, one arrow, row, up, those kind of things. Questions? Anger, hatred, thing. Good. So the rest of your time is used to use wise or unwise one. You can bail early and get ready for your last phrase or ask and review. Jerk